So I got my copy of Lifespan here. Pretty entertaining writing so far, and I've actually been following some of the recent podcasts that he's done on Joe Rogan and Peter Tia. However, one thing as I've been looking at the book as I flip through is that in the index, you see that Sinclair discusses calorie restriction and fasting many times, but the term ketosis or ketones don't make it in the index. Some research, including myself, believe that ketones are the key mediator of why calorie restriction and fasting works. Now, I'm not claiming that ketones are the only mediator of what happens in calorie restriction and fasting, but I do think it's absolutely a key one. For example, I think a couple of the key insights and observations around why ketones are so important relate to the NAD-NADH ratio and how ketosis affects that ratio very different from other metabolic pathways. And also, I like the data around histone deacetylase inhibition. Now histones, as we recall, are molecules that bind up and unwind DNA. So if there's something that can affect that process, again, very interesting from a longevity anti-aging perspective. The idea of pulsing interventions was one thing Dave Sinclair talked about on both podcasts of Joe Rogan and Peter Tia. And when I did Jeff Talk episode two, I covered a recent study on metformin blunting the metabolic benefit and adaptation caused by exercise. And one thing that I was really glad to hear and impressed to hear was that Sinclair actually changed his personal metformin supplement strategy after the study came out. As I understand it, he used to take metformin every or close to every day, and now he's only taking metformin on recovery days when he's not exercising, so it doesn't cancel out the benefits of his exercise. I'm really glad to see that he's not dogmatic and has evolved his personal routines as new data comes in. That's a proper scientist. You test hypotheses and you evolve as new data comes in.